So even as we make this move, uh, care and caution will still be required, which is why I now want to focus on the protections and guidance that will remain in place after August 9th. Firstly, it will continue to be the law, subject to existing exemptions, that face coverings must be worn in all the same indoor settings as is the case now. We will keep this under review, but my expectation is that face coverings are likely to be mandated in law for some time to come. Second, Test and Protect will continue to contact trace positive cases. To assist with this, there will be an ongoing requirement for indoor hospitality and similar venues to collect the contact details of customers. And while, as I will set out shortly, there will be a change in the approach to self-isolation for close contacts of positive cases, anyone who is required to self-isolate will, if eligible, continue to have access to support.